Welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to go through some of the Icelandic places that if you're coming to Iceland or traveling Iceland and you live here, we're going to pronounce the names of places. So if you are new to this channel, I'm Sonia, I'm Scottish, I live in Iceland. This is Ingmar, he is Icelandic, he is my Viking, my husband, and we have a half Icelandic baby together. So if you're interested in following our Iceland family life journey, then please do subscribe to the channel and enjoy the videos with us. We're gonna start off with the basic one. So, Iceland. Iceland. The next one is Reykjavik. Reykjavik. When you fly into the country, you will land in Keflavik. Keflavik. Or one of the first things that you'll probably plan for your itinerary is to go on the Golden Circle. Gullnirhingurin. We start off at Thingvellir. Thingvellir, which is the national park where the tectonic plates meet. Geysir. Which is the erupting water from the ground. Geyser. Gullfoss. Gullfoss is one of the biggest waterfalls on that route. Kerith. The crater. Volcanic crater. Yeah. Or a meteor site. We don't know <laughs> what we think. Gamla Lugin. Which is the secret lagoon and we highly recommend you put this on your trip for a really enjoyable hot spring. Okay, the next one is the south coast. Suðurströndin. Which means south coast. So we're going in the direction of Vík, which is down on the south coast. Kveragerði. Kveragerði is one of the first towns that you will come across and as you drive down the really cool curving road on the hillside, you will see some steam coming from the mountains there. And there's an amazing hike up to the hot river if you've got time. Selfos. Selfos is the next big town. There are some nice restaurants and cafes here if you're looking for some food. Kvolsvöllur. <laughs> Which is where Ingemar's best friend stays. This is probably one of the petrol stations that you will see before a really long drive to the first waterfall. So if you do want to stop for the toilet, this is really the only place. Go in, ask if you can use the toilet and then say, say hi to La Levy from me. Selja Lands Foss. Selja Lands Foss is the first thing that you will see for a while when you do this drive, and it's the waterfall that you can walk behind. Skogarfoss. Skogarfoss is the next waterfall that you will see, and it's pretty epic. You'll get quite wet if you walk too close up to it, but it's a really amazing one to go for a little walk towards and also walk up the side of it. Selja Vatla Lug. Selja Vatla Lug is. <laughs> this is a test for me. Is one of the natural hot springs that is built into the side at the base of Eyjafjallajökull and it's an algae pool. It used to be a bit of a secret pool but now is very discovered by tourists. So get there quick or get there late in the evening to avoid the crowds. Reynisfjara. Reynisfjara is the black sand beach. Be very, very careful when you visit here. There are creeper waves which can really surprise you. And unfortunately, there are numerous accidents that happen here. It is a beautiful place and it's a place where you can spot puffins, but please be careful when you visit it. Eyjafjallajökull. So Eyjafjallajökull is the glacier on top of the volcano Eyjafjalla and Jökull means glacier. No. no. <laughs> nice Jök try though. Jökull means glacier. Gl Jökull means glacier but Eyjafjalla has been changed so it's Eyjafjöll and that's a range of mountains. I think I still get a point for that. <laughs> you do get a point for trying, really nice. It's the most famous one because it blew its top 10 years ago and caused massive air traffic problems and delays across the rest of Europe and the world, but didn't necessarily affect Iceland hugely. And now we're gonna move along on Thjöldvegurætt. Which is route one, which I've not been on yet, Ingemar has cycled two or three times now? Twice. Yeah. We'll start with 
Jökulsárlón. This is the Glacier Lagoon and is definitely my favourite place that I've visited here in Iceland. After you pass Jökulsárlón and continue there, you will need to stop for a pee. Hup <laughs> is the place to go. The next stop after Hup is Seydisfjörður. I think this is where the ferry comes into Iceland, so if you happen to be coming here by boat, that's where you'll arrive. It's very likely that you will come in there. <laughs> Moving on. Eilstadir. I don't know anything about that. I've heard of it. That's where my friend Kalli lives. <laughs> then you will drive for a long, long time. You will pass Thorsup because there's nothing, no reason to stop in Thorsup. <laughs> really, there isn't. And after that you will come to Husavik. Husavik is where you can have a much better chance of seeing whales if you go whale watching. But you can't see whales from there. It's in the UK. <laughs> oh my goodness, you also have a friend who stays there. Yes, when you go into the gas station <laughs> and ask for a bit. <laughs> Please say hello from me to my friend Stefan there. Next up is Akrede, the capital of the south. It's not a city. <laughs> it's the capital of the north. Yep. The only thing I know about Akrede is that they have love heart shaped traffic lights. The next stop on Route 1 is... Blindos. Hey. So Blindos is where Ingmar comes from. It's a small town uh, and has some nice restaurants and a couple of gas stations. Oh, only one gas station <laughs> these days. It's growing smaller. Uh, next up after that is Kramstongi. If you're going to go sightseeing, that's a nice place. Also a little bit of chance of whales, but mostly seals. Uh, then you will be driving across the mountain and you will come into Borkanes. Borkanes is also nice, it's a hub because you will be traveling, going through there if you're going up to Snæfellsnes or if you're going up north, you're driving that way around the country. And the West Fjords as well. Yes, the West Fjords of course. Snæfellsnes is incredibly beautiful and if you do have the time on your itinerary, definitely research um, a day trip or some time spent up there as well. And finally, before going to through the tunnel, you can do a right turn at the roundabout and go to Akranes. There used to be a ferry between Akranes and Reykjavik, but with the advent of the tunnel, the ferry trips drop down, which is a sad thing because an hour's trip on a boat between Akranes and Reykjavik can be quite beautiful. And then you're basically back to Reykjavik and that's you done Route 1. So hopefully this has helped you when planning your trip here, learn to pronounce some of the places that you're going to be going to. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, give it a little thumbs up and hit subscribe so that you can join our adventures hopefully around this country sometime soon and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye guys!